I don't, I don't like, you know, uh, personally, I think that the, the kind of like value we have to place on how valuable a ring is, is kind of tacky, personally speaking. I'm a tan, which would, did you want me to play? Blast cats. Do you want me to play blast cats? Oh, uh, it's not um, displaying. I want you to check out nowhere me. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna find nowhere me. This has got to be one of them, what, what should I call it? Liminal spaces? And chain. They speak abyss. Mother Mothered Probably need a key that you need to find somewhere I don't remember North Star Courier I heard that one's really good Mortal Meal Sorry we're open Uh <laughs> Mirage Club Electric Limbo Gob Here it is The needs a key, okay So we need to find the key It's been a while since I have had to explore the actual North Star is very good as well. Well, let's find the key. May as well. Of course, the problem is, is I, I feel like I've very thoroughly explored everything. So I'm not sure where a key is going to be. Basement. I can't. I, I I did this right. Boiler room. Oh, okay. Here we go. Um. Crowbar. Janitor's office. Same devs. Knobs are stuck. Where is the remote? Store keys. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, it was the spooky. Where is the remote? Okay, I think we have the keys, so we can do no army. Um, but I don't know where the knobs are. Is there anything else down here that I haven't done? You have the remote. Oh, I have the remote? That scared me? Oh, I'm sorry. This, uh, you know, this, like, mall is kind of tame on the on the spooks, but it is a little bit atmospheric, for sure. Launch demo. Oh, is this a demo? Should I do this at all, I'm a 10? Is this quick? I'm gonna wait for your reply on that one. Uh, 
I don't know. Let's have a very quick look. See if it's... Okay, this is Sauna 2000. Looks like it's maybe made by the Spectral Mall devs. Game designed by Amos Soti. Into the Unknown. Real quick. Let's see. Let's have a quick look. Little, little, little look at. Little spot at. Hello? This one? Hello? What's with all of these Scandinavian devs? Scandinavians know how to horror. I'll tell you what. They know how to horror like no one else. 15 minute demo. Not final, but Finland! Ba, 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 do, do, da, ba, da, do, oh. Have to heat the sauna before sunset? Um, that's, that's the voice we're doing. Operation heat the sauna. Find axe, chop wood, take enough wood and tinders to sauna with log carrier. Find the bucket. Fill bucket. Fill part with water. Empty stove ashes. Empty heater ashes. Find matches, fireplace dampers. Open them for draft. Start, start the fire. It's not 15 minutes. This demo is surprisingly deep. All right. Uh, quitting it. We are. I would like to do it if it is proper. Sauna 2000. Bottom night prelude. Coming to its dot I. Oh. It's not 15 minutes. <laughs> Sauna 2000, a surprisingly deep game. Okay, we're gonna go and do Nowhere Me, which is the impetus of me having opened this up. Is this where we're going? Do 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 do. We have to go to the foyer. We must find the foyer, because that's where Nowhere Me is. That's the bathroom. That's not the foyer. It's very worth checking out. I will absolutely check it out. It looks like fun. Food court. It's not the foyer at all. Guys, is it foyer or foyer? Now I want Bimple to play Euro Truck Simulator. I've played a lot of Euro Truck Simulator. I'm very bad at it, but I love that game. Keys. Now where me is a first person Metroidvania about a young man named James trying to track down his missing brother. Let's read no more and play the game. First person Metroidvania, though, that's kind of cool. Fever Dream Softworks. Foyer, but I'm French based. Okay. New game. Uh. Wait, it won't let me do anything. My controller's still plugged in? It's not letting me do anything. Uh, the it has many secrets. Uh, the first secret is how do I start the game? I can't do anything right now. Uh, 
how to use the keyboard. Okay, I'm gonna press literally every button. I'm gonna unplug my keyboard for a second and see if that helps. Nope. Trying my numpad. Trying the uh, numlock. Uh, nothing is working right now. Okay. Just, did you guys just have a deja vu as well? Restart the game? I can't even press escape. Okay, well, at least this works, right? Okay, let's try it again. It recognizes the first key and then immediately nothing. I'm going to try turning off my controller because I think my controller is still on. There we go. That was it. Bimple figured it out. Bimple solved the puzzle of starting the game. James, where are you? No, you're not seriously. I, you're going to look for Alex, aren't you? You know, the police are worthless. They gave up after a month. They don't know. James, I can't lose you too, please. I made Alex leave. It's my fault that this happened in the first place. I need to make it right. James, your father, I mean, you can't blame yourself. Everyone was in shock. Nothing justifies what happened. I need to find Alex. James, please don't. I'm going to be fine, Mom. Alex and I will be back before Thanksgiving. I promise. Nowhere me. Game by Fervor. Fever Dreams, Johnny. <laughs> Dedicated to Scotty. Doo doo, ba da, doo doo, doo doo, ba ma, ba ma, doo doo, doo doo. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> How do I undo that? I just said I want to. I just said. Uh, binding look up to left mouse button and now it's ruined forever and I don't know how to reset it oh okay here we go reset all I just want to reverse these I don't know why okay well I guess I guess I'm gonna have to just deal with it a little bit Oh my god, that FOV. Use E to interact with objects. Try speaking to the locals. 
Hello, I am local. You are looking for your brother? Yeah, I haven't seen him. I'm sorry. Not everyone has useful stuff to say, you know. You should learn to, like, pick and choose what matters from what people say. Police officer. Conf confiscating mushrooms from nearby citizens. Report any truffles to the local authorities. Officer suddenly snaps out of his daze and looks at you. You're looking for your brother? Uh, yeah, I don't know anything about that, sorry. What are you star staring at me for? It's not my job to find missing people. What, you thought because my full name is police officer that I have to help you? Oh yeah, I'm out. I can turn off the, uh, the wiggle. Give me a second. We're gonna turn off tilt movement. Uh, and we'll turn down the FOV a little bit. Let's try like 45. Uh, that's actually worse in some ways. Let's go like 90. Okay, not having tilt wiggle is gonna help a lot. Deep within the woods, I sleep. Sorry, hold on a second. I need to find an appropriate thing here. Deep within the woods, I sleep upon my rotten wooden heap. Though nasty, gross, and slimy seem I, tickle my flaps and my spores will fly. Town. Wonderful. My name is Wizardo, the average. I'm the town wizard. Oh, you want me to cast a spell? Well, uh, I'm not that kind of wizard. It's more of an honorary title. Anyway, you're looking for your brother, right? Yes, I saw it all with my scrying orb. And no, I don't know where it is. My orb is broken. Yes, orbs can break. It happens all the time. I'm sorry I can't help you, but I can give you some sage advice. Ooh. Keep an eye out for my brother's civilian. They are raising the grounds for truffles of untold value. Keep, uh, okay. Clown! <laughs> on. Honk honk, Boo Boo the Fool here to report that this is the official Nowhere Clown Corner. What was once an ordinary patch of grass is now the imminent domain of me, Boo Boo the Clown. The fool, honk honk. Uh, the clown smiles at you excitedly, eyes sparkling with unbound joy. You resist the violent urge to hit the clown. I really like that. I really like the music in this game. Like five minutes behind. <laughs> Contemplating the fungus, please report any truffles to your local authorities. Ah! This tower brings warmth to my cold monkey heart. Ah! This tower brings warmth to my cold monkey heart. Uh, to help Neville, please talk to NPCs from a distance so camera won't wobble. Okay. Oh, I wanted to pick up the broom.
I'm assuming we get some kind of wall jump. Well, mid in, in midair, press space again. Oh, hello again. Good to see you. Uh, James, was it? Well, I seem to be in quite the pickle. My wife, Esmeralda the Great, hasn't been particularly thrilled with one of my hobbies, which happens to be candy collection. And, uh, well, let's just say I had a certain bar of chocolate called the Shillarp Crunch, and, uh, she threw it out. Oh god, I wish I had my delicious chocolate bar. Oh, oh. Chongi. Chongi Chongus. Down below is my infamous, infamous monkey pit. I keep all of my bastard monkeys down there, where they can't hurt anyone. Down below is my... oh. Whee! I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, was that too close? My bad. Ook, ook, ook! I am afraid of heights, get me down please, ah! Do ba do do ba do do ba ba do ba do ba do do ba do do do. Oh, what? What? This is not where I want to be. It's not my fault. Please don't fire me. Please don't. It's not my fault. Sorry, the route's closed. We had a bit of an accident incident with one of our poltergeists, and it decided to blow the whole entrance up. If we had some mining equipment, we could break through, but it's all trapped in the mines. If you brought something that could destroy these rocks, I'm sure you could get in. Cool. We'll save. Yes, overwrite it. I don't want it. No, I want. No, I don't want that. Stop showing me the dialogue. You can get in here after finishing the demo. Oh, here's the monkey pits. Eek, eek, I love leaf. So much fun with leaf. Okay. You do not belong here. This is the monkey pit. Strange red hatch. Looks like a small indentation to the left. To the side could be filled if I had the right item. Can I sneak into this chimney? Is, uh, Heaven's Vault scary, by the way? No, I don't think so. It's supposed to be very, um... It, it's, it's a... Explore em up. It's, it's kind of a... Like... Intriguing story. It's not supposed to be scary. I deliberately picked four not scary games. Like, these are all supposed to be pretty on the tame side and just you know, interesting romps. 
but I also, um, Mimesis, I, I prepared an extra, like, thing between this and the next stream that I think you'll enjoy, and it's, like, an extra kind of, like, we want to, I wanted to have a palate cleanser, you know? Like, we've been doing a lot of kind of weird and spooky stuff, and, and I, I, I need a palate cleanser. I enjoy horror stuff a lot, actually, but, um, you know, I also enjoy, you know, other flavors, so... I wanted to have something else as well. This vending machine is quietly humming all by itself. It doesn't appear to be plugged in, but it works nonetheless. Looks like they have just one bar of a Schlarp Crunch registered trademark in this entire machine. Tried to buy it, but ran out of money. Just 25 cents short of the total bill. I wish I had a quarter. What a shame. Okay, well, we know what we need next. I love this music. Seriously. This guy looks like he needs to go to the bathroom all the time. Local big juicy ass. <laughs> I sat on a bumblebee and now I have the most sumptuous ass in the entire town. All men envy me and all women want to be me. Very good. Officers have a great sense of smell for both crime and truffles, the latter of which they are bred to search for in damp forests. Thanks for talking to me. This is not a horror game, by the way. No, I didn't think it was. I need the garden key. Um, this game feels very much a vibe. No, I, I am clearly going over there, I think. I, I guess you were, sorry, you were telling Mimesis. But uh, I was answering on my own behalf, nonetheless. I like to stand near this really scary building. I don't know what's in there, but the mayor sealed it with some kind of weird energy barrier. The energy barrier makes me high when I'm around it. I haven't told any of the off other officers yet. It's my little secret. Please don't tell them about my energy barrier like life hack. It's the only thing I get to have to myself on this bitch of an earth. <laughs> uh, I like this game a lot right now. You break all of your fingers attempting to operate the vending machine. Just kidding. Anyway, this machine seems to be stocked with various sodas. One strange item catches your eye. A vial with a heart inside of it. Okay, we're not going in there. At least not yet. This game is very I'm a tan. I, I would agree with that, yeah. Disem disembodied philosopher, welcome to the slumber district. Arudder. Hello, ghosty. Uh, on. You should have seen how dark this place was before I got the job. Let's keep the barrier light, a uh, banter light. I gotta stay on guard. Sometimes in the heat of the moment, I imagine myself as an even bigger flame. A little bit of advice. Play it cool up ahead. I'm at my wick's end standing here all the time. Oh, this is a... This is a flesh pit, if ever I saw one. Oh god, I'm sorry, Neville. Look away. Look away, Neville. Eek, eek, kick, 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 whoop. Love it. Welcome to my home. I eat, I love meat. We are in the meat pit, aren't we? I'm assuming this is like fast travel. Right mouse button when near purple vein to travel along it. Creature stands weary, staring at you like a deer in the headlights. You get the impression it wants to you to use a venge to access the vein above you for some reason. You can walk through this flower and observe its inside. Oh. 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 
you get the vibe that this little creature wants you to know that venge streams are one way, no going back. Is this game out? Like, out, out? You stare intently at the centerpiece of this room. The fountain feels nervous. Malicious entity feels embarrassed. Plus five to intimidation. You can see what dialogue slide you're on in multi-step dialogues at the bottom of the screen. I'll say something like... Yeah, I have, I have been seeing that. Whoa! This is, this is a game. This is a, one of the video games that ever was. The Hell Diver regards you shyly. A pair of glowing red eyes flicker nervously behind its visor before it bends down to adjust its weight belt. Okay. Can we swim? We can swim. Oh, hello, sad square. It's a living. Do 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 do. Bing. Do 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 do. Bling. Do 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 bing. Bling. Do 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 do. Bing. Do 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 do. Chief, we've uncovered some strange sarcophagus. It seems the ancients used quarters to open these, uh, whatever that is. If you find a quarter, bring it here and let's give her a shot. Just hand it to me and I'll take care of the rest. What I mean is when there's no number, it's not worth checking the next page as there is none. No, I got you. It's just kind of a force of habit, honestly. The birthplace of all hell divers, you suddenly recall various facts about this species. Despite their ominous appearance, hell divers are a timid species that spend much of their time quietly collecting rare resources underwater. Their amorphous col colonial bodies are well suited to intense pressure. They can survive as deep as the gulch depths where they reach their natu natural limit. Despite being a colonial species, hell divers identify themselves as individuals. They revert back to their community mindset when heavily damaged, though. Helldiver reproduction occurs through partial fragmentation, forming an amalgam. Multiple divers can contribute to an amalgam to diversify its genetics. Helldivers will form mating bonds with multiple members in order to protect their amalgam until maturation, at which point more helldivers are born. Hell divers have a relatively short lifespan of 50 years, but pass down pieces of their memory to their offspring. Some memories can be thousands of years old. Hell divers can change their physiology freely. When interacting with human societies, hell divers will attempt to appear more human. This is thought to be a defense mechanism of some sort. In nature, they can be seen changing shape to confuse predators. Some of the more extroverted hell divers will customize their bodies to stand out. These same divers tend to bond with human e humans easier. Oops, you've run out of memories on hell divers. Maybe you can learn more if you talk to a couple. They don't bite, trust me. Uh, this game really makes me feel sick, but it's really cool. Graphically speaking, I really don't know how to feel about this game. Music of this game is like Hy Hylix, but actual music. I kind of know what you mean, uh, bot, but um, unfortunately for my own self, I uh, I don't get the same kind of motion sickness. Oh, sorry. Let me back up a bit. Stands awkwardly in the corner, trying, toying with some strange relic it found on the ground. It stops to quietly stare at you. You continue watching the hell diver. It feels unnerved and begins shifting its weight from side to side. Finally, the hell diver musters the courage to say something to you. Hello. Feeling anxious, it begins hastily fiddling with its relic to calm itself down. It me, for real, though. Hello, monkey. Hello, Chief Monkitect here. We're still working on building this beautiful commemorative basin out, so stay tuned. Enjoy your swim. Is that the game's way of saying that, that it's we're not done here yet? 
Has anyone in chat besides Imatan seen or played Hylix? Because that is a game, I'll tell you what. I haven't played it at all, but I've seen a little bit of it. Where did I come from? Helldiver seems to stiffen up as you approach after deciding that you're probably not a threat it begins to relax. Welcome to Hell, Michigan. This is our homeland. Hope you like it. Yeah, Hylix. It's a um, kind of a JRPG uh, entirely comprised of like claymation. And it's got a it's it's got music very similar to this kind of a very strange vibe. This vending machine looks strange. A label probably announces the machine as a vendor of exotic treats. Actually, on closer inspection, you realize that this machine is stocked with candy and drinks you've never seen before. International exports. One thing causes your eye to violently bulge out of your head: a unique flavor of Schlarp Crunch you've never seen before. Yes, it looks like a German exclusive version of Schlarp Crunch Cookie Madness. Wow. I love this. See a hell diver with strange attachments on its flippers. Without looking up, it regards you. You see all that water? It's actually hell aether. It's where all hell uh, divers first spawned from. Only hell divers can swim in it without sinking to the bottom. You need a special pair of augmented flippers to navigate the water safely. I wear a pair because it's my job to drag people who've fallen in back to the surface. Without the flippers, you folks would be too heavy to carry. Hell Michigan reference, yo. Eating too many pineapples may lead to tongue bleed. No Hylix for me. I wouldn't mind playing Hylix. I, I think I own both of them. I love sewer. It's a brand of bicycle lights. Pineapple with jicama and spices. Yo. The only fruit that digests you when you digest it. I mean, they call this a Metroidvania, but it's, it's kind of just like a... I don't know. It's very light on the exploration, I think. Lemon kiwi. I don't know. Did you know that tomatoes are, car are carnivorous? Carnivore? Carnivores? Eek, eek, eek. Welcome to the scuba Steve guided tour of the garden. Come see our gift shop. Scuba Steve, watch your step. Haha, <laughs> no, seriously, the rot below us is highly toxic and you'll die if you fall in. Nerve blooms are an essential bottom feeder in our ecosystem. They, their central ganglia can be harvested and used in salads. If I was going to make a game, I would want to make a game like this. Have you seen a nerve cradle before? They're what these delicate meaty plants are trying to grow into. They have mouths for filter feeding, presumably. Glad you could make it. This cradle's mouth is wide open and is pr presently emitting a smell like fresh veins. How horrible. Anyway, I'll see you inside. Tomatoes eat insects? They do eat, eat insects. Tomato vines, I, I believe. The amount of secrets in this game is surprising. Is there a secret down there that I just missed? Nope. I have not been looking all that hard for secrets. 
We have acquired gun. Hello? What? There's no way. Who are you? You can talk? I said, who are you? I'll shoot. Hold on, my name is James. What the heck are you? <laughs> I don't really, I don't remember anything. I think my name is Concord. Concord, all right, look, just calm down. Don't shoot me, please. I'll just put you back down now. I need to keep looking for my brother. Wait, you're looking for your brother? What does he look like? Uh, his name's Alex. He's kind of tall, got a lean body, long curly hair. I don't really know how to explain it. He kind of just looks like an Alex. Alex, that sounds familiar. I think I've seen that guy before. Wait, you have? How long ago was it? Did he say he why he came to nowhere? Did he tell you where he was going? Was he okay? I don't remember. I can barely remember anything. Oh god, what do I do? What do I do? Look, I need to keep moving. It's urgent. I don't have time to talk with an am amnesiac gun. Wait, can you bring me with you? I can't move on my own. I really don't want to stay here. I mean, look around. Please take me with you. I can help you. I guess more help couldn't hurt. So you're a gun. Do you like shoot bullets or something? Yeah, well, I... What the hell? Holy shit. Allows you to protect yourself. Use primary to shoot a spectral bullet. Uh... Okay. Those insects will be jumping off of your body. Uh, this is not working. There you go. Oh, ouch. We shoot them in the eyeball? This is end of demo, but it's like 50% of the game. I'm a little lost on the plot, though. Jesus Christ, what the hell was that? I don't know. We're going to have to fight more of those things, aren't we? Only one way to find out. Let's go find your brother. Demo complete, or is it? A game where your gun talks to you? Was this game made by Justin Roiland? A Binding of Ray Isaac reference? Sorry, I think I'm in the wrong place. Look, it's an easy mistake to make, all right? Left shift to dash. This will make you invincible for a brief moment. Not supposed to be here, but here I am. I've come to give you a helpful little upgrade for later. Nice. That's fun. It's not over though. Uh, 
Uh, According to I, it's only 50% order. Oh, over. I can get into that cave now, right? Where was that cave? It was in the castle, right? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I'm just passing through trying to find my friend, Peeb, and all of that jazz. Have you seen him? He's a... Well, I guess you could, would say, like, he looks like a cloud with an elephant trunk. Oh, and he only says boner and otherwise just screams. Anyway, uh, yeah, I've got nothing else to say. Oh, actually, do you know where I can get something to eat? I'm kind of hungry. Isn't this a reference? Did the same developer make make that Peebus game? I forget what it's called. And the, 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 the little creature, as he says, just says boner, boner, boner. You can kill any NPC now, by the way. Oh my god. What is the point of that? Okay. Oh my god. Wow, I'm really bad at that. Bookshelves keep secrets. Where am I? That difficulty escalated somewhat. A little bit. There's a save point in here, right? No, wait, I have to go this way, sorry. It won't let me go in there. Dark Ham has invaded your inventory. Mr. Sprout, hello, it's me, Mr. Sprout. I'm in kind of a pickle. I wish to be planted. I yell for the earth and cry for my brothers.
pretty good. Let me save. What? Really? That's it? 10 out of 10 asset store particle effect. <laughs> So there's, there's got to be more secrets, right? Can I go in here? This looks like that guy. Is there a way to find uh, Peebus? The boner lad? You monster. I killed the monkey, I know. I'm sorry. You also missed a lot in hell area. Okay. Should I kill the mushroom lad? Return to hell? Okay. I'm stuck. This isn't the area you were talking about, was it? Not mushroom lad, fountain room has a secret. Um, oh, okay. I guess right click was working. Okay, sorry, I, I, I messed up the right click. Can't kill that lad. Okay, there's a secret in here. Yeah, yeah there we go. Mr. Sprout, Temple of Uncle. We've done it. Temple of Uncle. What is a diamond in the rough when it comes to open world RPG games? Uh, met the Mad Max open world RPG. I don't know. It's not really an oh, like an RPG. Is that it? Is that all we get? I, uh, I did like the the Mad Max game. I thought it was really good. Some horrifying amalgam of rotting flesh. It looks like it, I could plant something here. Do I need to go get that dude again? Where was he? Room you saved has a wormhole also. Give Orbo ham. 
I almost know what you mean. I get very con very lost in this game very easily. Uh, let me try and get back to the room I saved. Any other? Um, open world RPGs. I've heard very good things about Outward, though I haven't fully played the game myself. I've also been kind of looking for an, um, like an open world RPG of sorts. Okay. Heck is this? Hey, Twin Swords. So this, this room has a wormhole in it. In there. I, I don't know where it is. The definition of diamond in the rough open world RPG. Um, I'm trying to remember. I play. I always forget the name of this game, but I played a really amazing open world RPG. But it's a little bit more um, simplistic in some ways. I'm trying to remember. I always forget what it's called. RPG. Give me one second because I I really really liked it and I played it all the way through. Um. Okay, Wilder Myth is actually really good, but it's not really open world. I mean, it kind of is, but. Eh. Uh, Horizons Gate is actually really amazing. It's open world. And it's a, like a seafaring game. It definitely has some like RPG. It's a bit more tactical, but it, it definitely has some RPG in it. Um, I'm still trying to find the, the game that I played through. And I it's come up a couple of... Uh, Fates of Ort. Fates of Ort, O-R-T, is an incredible game. Really, really deserves more love. And uh, I really, really liked that one. Um, I'm a tan. I'm, I'm kind of struggling here. Where do I go? You said the, 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 the one I saved. I'm talking about the start of the location fountain room secret. Okay. Well, that was in hell, right? What do you do in it? Um, you have different spells that kind of kind of combo together. It's a top-down game um, And it feels a little bit like that Di Diablo, but it doesn't really play like Diablo and the the kind of interesting Gimmick is like the more spells you use it, uh, it It actually kind of ends up hurting you a little bit So you have to use spells sparingly in a way who am I? Who am I? The prince's dream of guy. Why I'm the prince's dream of guy. The prince's dream of guy. When dreaming, prince dreams easily. He dreams until he dreams of me. But when sleeping saint sleeps fitfully, a nightmare comes for all to see. Do not wake his prince's princely eyes. This will kill saint's dream of a guy. What happens if I kill this lad? Oh. And with that, Dream of Guy vanishes from reality. Little Saint Prince silently stares at me, providing a mere smile at his observer's something. Well, I, I accidentally killed that lad. Give Orbo ham. Also, big fan of Fates of Ort. Like, time stops when you stop moving. Yeah. 
Fates of Ort has so many fun gimmicks in it, and the uh, the developer is um oh is there a secret behind here? I'll be able to get that heart file, but I want to talk to the lad here. Did I go in here? I love vending machines. Give Orbo ham. This is one of Imatan's favorite games in Central Mall. Spectral Mall, sorry. Uh, Alright, so I have to go over here and give Orbo ham. I've never heard anything more cryptic than give Orbo ham. Start of the location fountain room secret was in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uncle's offering it has summoned me to this world. Hello there. I am Ben. I am a master alchemist and I have been brought here to reward you for serving my uncle. He procure, procures some kind of flask from his back pocket. It appears to be filled with a strange red liquid. This concoction is a secret recipe. What are you waiting for? Give it a swig, my boy. He gingerly grasps a small flask and opens it up. It smells like nothing. In fact, it almost seems suspiciously like water with a red food coloring. Uh, you take a swig. Whoa, your entire body is filled with an intense sensation. Has your life expectan expectancy been extended? Nice. That white or white orb guy that was talking about creature that was screaming and saying boner. Uh, how do I give him ham? I thought I talked to him, but you have inventory. Oh, I mean, all right. I'll try to give Orbo ham. There's apparently, is, didn't you say there's something in here as well? I'm Ducker, what up? Where you got blue key okay in here this is where i got the blue key well that was not correct unless it was say where I got the blue key 
like literally where I got the blue key. Clown. Atheist clown. I don't believe in an afterlife, chief. It doesn't interest me at all. With that, let the 27th annual afterlife debate begin. All right, candidates, let's hear your opening statements. I believe in an afterlife, chief. It interests me greatly. I'm looking for hell truffle. Some say it is the most valuable truffle of all. Worth 10,000 gold. If you find it, I will have to handcuff you. Hell truffle is police property. Huh. It's amazing how walking in here, I, I completely full fully believe that these walls were boundaries but they're like the most simplistic that's that's really funny uh my job is hell haha <laughs> just kidding i love my job i like being out here please don't tell the hell divers i made a joke about their home they'll be really upset oh okay well that was a secret do you like mysteries? Come on. Uh. Do you like mysteries? I'm trying to figure out why my head won't stop growing. The building in the distance has a hidden wormhole. Okay, well, we'll check that out in a second. Oh my god. Uh. <gasps> At your, uh, young one, I do not know if I can continue. I believe this is my final resting spot. This world, this world is coming apart. Daddy was too strong for us. Please figure out how to stop it before, before it's too late. He descends into a horrible coughing fit before going limp. You can tell that he's quietly keeping one eye cracked open to monitor your reaction. <gasps> Quarter! Yay! The building in the distance has a hidden wormhole. You haven't seen that secret. Seems calling cop pigs oh no which which building in the distance which one can I even reach oh is it that one that one looks like the closest is on edge. Oh, you mean like over here? I know it's a hot take, but war is bad. Anyway, thanks for coming and talking to me. I've unlocked a secret somewhere in the world for you. Oh, cool. A uh, secret, which is somewhere. How do I get back? Do I just jump in the water? Oh, this is a surprisingly large bounding box.
Oh, it looks like it's only euros. What madness is this? If only you were somehow small enough to squeeze inside the, the machine to pull the candy out. Bow. Bow. Okay, um, so we got to give Orbo ham. And I have a quarter now, so I should be able to get a crunch wrap or whatever. Crunch wrap supreme. I'm a tan. Is there a secret for killing mushroom lad? Okay, inventory. How do I access the inventory? Da, 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 da. Tab. Oh my god. Equipped. There's no way. Is that the dark ham? May I have it? Orbo grips the succulent meat with his hands and rips into it. Rivulets of oil weep down his chin. Uh, he's in heaven. You're my hero. Here's a commemorative statuette as thanks. I'm not sure it's going to do much for you, but it's all I got right now. Its, it's secret is that you are a horrible monster, then yes. No secret. Yeah. All right. So I have a quarter. Should be able to use that on a vending machine somewhere. Can't remember where. Where is the vending machine? We can uh, get the wizard... Nice old snacky snack. Good old snack yummy yums. Mm mm, delicious, you know? We are kind of burning uh, time a little bit. I want to make, you know, I want to I wanna explore this game as best as I can. Where is the vending machine? The one that requires a quarter. Is it in hell? I think it's in the first area. Well, there is one. Oh yeah, there is one here. Okay, yeah, let's check that out. There it is. What? We've got a quarter time to crack this puppy open. All right, it's time to finally get myself a bar of Shalarp Crunch. Quarter slots into the machine with enormous ceremony. After a few feverish moments, a sudden thump announces the chocolate bar's arrival to the item box. And with that, a delicious bar of Shalarp Crunch is in my hands. I cannot believe how great today has been. Time to go give it to the wizard. Can use the statue at the leaf monkey pit. Oh, okay. Wait, is that a bar of Schlarp Crunch you have there? Oh, I could. Could I have? Oh, wait, hold on a second. Wait, is that a bar of Schlarp Crunch you have there? Oh, I could. Could I have it? Please. You are unleashed, uh, suddenly struck with a sense of empathy you've never experienced before. How could you not give it to him? You quietly slip the bar into his trembling hands with a half-hearted smile. You love Schlarp Crunch, but you've, you're compelled to do the right thing. The wizard quivers as he stares at the bar with astonishment. He gingerly peels the wrapper back and gazes at the exposed chocolate lovingly. He carefully lifts the bar up and wraps his mou mouth around the sweet goodness. He begins taking small bites like a squirrel with a nut. His eyes water. You don't know how long he's been without Schlarp Crunch. But you can tell it's suturing a deep wound in his heart. He's completely focused on the bar now, like an Olympian sprinter riding the track. He's in ecstasy. Finally, after a mere couple nibbles, he turns his attention back to you, his wizened eyes watering. I... I'm at a loss of words. You are so kind, so utterly gracious. I don't know what... 
I can do for you, but thank you. He quietly returns to the bar, sniffling as he takes the tiniest bites possible, trying to savor each and every morsel for as long as he can. That voice reminds me of the cursed Spongebob satire episode. Oh, you know what I was thinking uh, this voice was? Here, check this out. Hold on. Why, Spongebob? Why? <laughs> Leaf pit. Do, 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 do. It's looking at me. Weird. There's a lot of secrets in this game. Thanks for coming to my little chamber. I was worried you wouldn't figure out what to do with that little statue I gave you. Anyway, this is a commemorative zone for 20, uh, 2022's haunted PS1 demo disc. We changed the colors up a bit. Last year it was purple and this year it's green. Please feel free to cry alone in your room if you don't like this year's color choice. Go ahead and visit the Memorial Hall. It's through the Porticulus ahead. If you want to leave, just enter the Porticulus ahead. Yeah, the exit's in the same place, saw we. Got some Banjo-Kazooie vibes in here. Is there anything... Can I, like, enter these zones? No? Green. I love the little dog sound in the background. Welcome. Ha ha ha. Welcome to. Oh, sorry, on. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the commemorative hall. Come and view our games if you dare. The magician never reveals their secrets. Oh, there's Babo Sangjar. This is an area from Peeb. There's the B sword game that we didn't like, really. That looks like another fun. Oh, is that a uh, cat? bombs or whatever cat blast there's that well we really have played a lot of uh fun games haven't we this year's this year's spook month has been kind of a treat i like the uh kind of inception of this one When did Big become a voiceover artist? When hell froze over. I'm uh, not a voiceover artist. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Willis? I'm a tan. Is there anything else I should check out before I move on to the next um, segment? The next mini segment? I'm glad I was able to find a secret that I Matan missed because that means they got, I got to share something they hadn't seen before. It's a nice little unexpected treat for all of us. Why, SpongeBob? Why? When did you get a voice changer? Uh, um, like last week. You can find Peep somewhere, but I don't remember. So you're phone <laughs> all right that's gonna do it for nowhere me i'm gonna have to hit the washroom real quick we're gonna have a very um short portion the stream's gonna go a little bit late today unfortunately i say unfortunately it's not really unfortunate for anyone but 
Um, I know some people, it's really late for them. So um, give me one minute. I'm going to go hit the can real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> 